Auburn was a brand name of American automobiles produced from 1900 to 1937. The Auburn Automobile Company grew out of the Eckhart Carriage Company, founded in Auburn, Indiana, in 1874 by Charles Eckhart. Eckhart's sons, Frank and Morris, experimented making automobiles before entering the business in earnest, absorbing two other local carmakers and moving into a larger plant in 1909. The enterprise was modestly successful until material shortages during World War I forced the plant to close. In 1919, the Eckhart brothers sold the company to a group of Chicago investors headed by Ralph Austin Bard, who later served as assistant secretary. Of the Navy for President Franklin Delano Roosevelt and as Undersecretary of the Navy for President Roosevelt and President Harry S. Truman. The new owners revived the business, but it proved unprofitable. In 1924 they approached Eric Lobencourt, a highly successful automobile salesman, with an offer to run the company. Cord countered with an offer to take over completely in what amounted to a leveraged buyout, which the Chicago group accepted. Cord aggressively marketed the company's unsold inventory and completed his buyout before the end of 1925. But after the 1929 stock market crash, despite advanced engineering and aggressive styling, Auburn's upscale vehicles were too expensive for the Depression-era market. And around 1935, Auburn started to produce a line of kitchen cabinets and sinks, to keep the company afloat. Cord's illegal stock manipulations would force him to give up control of his automobile holding company, which included the even more expensive Cord, and Rolls-Royce-priced high-performance Duesenberg brands, as well as Central Manufacturing Company. An 1896 coach-building company that built metal bodies for a number of different car companies, including Auburn. Under injunction from the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission to refrain from further violations, Cord sold his shares in his automobile holding company. In 1937, automotive production of all three marks ended. Nevertheless, after a 1940 bankruptcy reorganization, the former Auburn Automobile and Central Manufacturing Companies merged into Auburn Central Manufacturing Corporation. In March 1941, Auburn Central Manufacturing landed a contract with Willys Overland for 1,600 Jeep bodies. The first bodies were shipped in April, and more Jeep body contracts were gained from both Willys Overland and Ford Motor Company during World War II. In addition to Jeep bodies, ACM also made trailer bodies and aircraft components. By mid-1943, the Connorsville, Indiana Company built its 150,000th Jeep body, and during peak wartime production, ACM's large buildings complex. Together with many more automotive industries there had formed an early industrial park, that earned the town the nickname Little Detroit. Jeep body production would go on through 1948. In March, 1942 Auburn Central changed its name to American Central Manufacturing, and in 1945, kitchen sinks, appliances, and cabinets were chosen to have the largest market potential for ACM's manufacturing capabilities. This indeed became ACM's core product after the war. 1936 Auburn 654 Cabriolet 1935 Auburn 851 speeds to the 1904 Auburn was a touring car model. Equipped with a tonneau, it could seat two or four passengers and sold for $1,000. The flat mounted single cylinder engine, situated at the center of the car, produced 10 horsepower. A two speed planetary transmission was fitted. The angle steel framed car weighed 1,500 pounds and used half elliptic springs. In 1926, Eric Cord, now the owner of Auburn, partnered with Duesenberg Corporation, famous for its racing cars, and used it as the launching platform for a line of high-priced luxury vehicles. The Duesenberg Model J. He also put his own name on one of the first front-wheel drive cars, Cord, known as the Cordell 29. The company employed imaginative designers such as Alan Leamy, chief designer of the 1933 Auburn Speedster, and Gordon Burig, designer of the 810-812 Cords. Burig joined the company in Indianapolis in 1926 with Duesenberg Motors, and is credited with styling roughly half of the Model J's produced. Duesenberg built the chassis while the bodies were built either to Duesenberg's own specifications, or to the special order of the buyer, by selected independent body companies. In 1934, Burig was transferred to Auburn Auto where he designed the 1935 Auburn 851 Speedster. The Speedster was styled or modified to use leftover Speedster bodies. Burig and a design team were then assigned to E.L. Cord's so-called Baby Duesenberg to build a smaller, more affordable car. Designed by Burig in 1933, it became the acclaimed 1936-37 Cord 810-812 Cords, 
a hit at the November 1935 annual New York Automobile Show, acclaimed for advanced engineering as well as revolutionary styling. His design work completed, he left the company in 1937. Source, daughter Barbara Burig Orlando plus the ICTA Museum, and modified the four-door, cord-built cars such as the Duesenberg Model J, the Auburn Speedster, and the Cord 810-812 that became famous for their advanced engineering as well as their striking appearance. The Auburn Boattail Speedster was powered by a 4.6-liter straight 8 that, with the popular supercharger option, could top 100 miles per hour making it a popular model in the Hollywood market. The depression, coupled with cord stock manipulations, spelled the end of the company and production ceased in 1937. The company's Art Deco headquarters in Auburn now houses the Auburn Cord Duesenberg Automobile Museum and became a national historic landmark in 2005. The Auburn Automobile Company also had a manufacturing plant in Connorsville, Indiana, formerly owned by the Lexington Motor Company. 1935 Auburn Speedster ad. Thanks for watching.